Hey guys, it's me, the Shade Tree Fix It Man. And I'm not working in the shade right now. I'm indoors at my office and it's a big mess. But you know, I've been doing some uh, hanging pictures and hanging shelves and cabinets and stuff like that since I moved into my new home. And uh, I was having a problem with my levels. Uh, I had noticed a while ago that they were getting a little bit hard to read. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. Can you see that vial there? Well, it doesn't look too bad right there. Uh, and you can almost see it, but it's kind of foggy. You know what I mean? Now let me show you a little bit more up against the wall and so you know what I really mean. Okay, now, here we are. And I have this thing up against the door of the office, and you can barely see that thing. And, and if you're like me, and you're getting a little bit older, your eyes aren't as good as they used to be. And even if I put it up against the wall with a, bat, a, a light background, why, it's even worse. You can't hardly see the bubble in there. And if you don't have really good lighting, it's impossible to see. Well, I contacted Empire. This is an Empire uh, level. I've had it, oh, probably for 15 years anyway. I used to use it when I was building houses. And I contacted Empire and sent them the numbers and asked them if there was a way I could get replacement vials. Well, I never got a response. So I decided to take it apart. I had cleaned these once before. And, uh... They were a little bit better, but they were still really fuzzy. Couldn't hardly see them. I went to Menards today, and I bought some brand new vials. See how nice and clear those are? This is actually a line level. And I thought, well, maybe it's the right size. I got home, and it's too small around to fit in. But when I took it out, took the vial out of my level, I found out that it's exactly the same length, and if you notice the ends are smaller, well, i got to set my camera down, and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how to fix your Empire level that has foggy lenses, and do it for free. Take a little bit of time, and that's all just free. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to uh, modify your vials. For your level, this is an original one. Uh, it still has the plastic sleeve on it. And all you got to do, it's just like a Chinese finger. I hope I get you in frame here. Let me let me double check with the camera, make sure you can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you can see me. All you got to do is just like with a Chinese finger, instead of pulling on it, you push down like that. And see that? That vial is going to slide right out of there. Look at that. And on the inside is a brand new 20-year-old <laughs> vial. And uh, it's just as clear as can be. There's nothing wrong with it. A little bit wiping to clear some of the residue from that plastic off. Look at that. See how much you can see that. So then all I did was I took the sleeve that I took off of this vial and lay that down and I put it in my little miter box with my little saw and you could do the same thing probably with a utility knife but I just cut it into slices little small slices like that see that? there's one It doesn't have to be very wide. Just like that. You can do that with a saw, or like I said, you could probably do it with a utility knife. And let's try it with a utility knife this time. Oh yeah. 
it's just only vinyl, so it's not hard to cut. There you go. Nice clean cut. All right. So then you take your sleeves that you've just cut, and all you do is you slide it on a little bit onto your vial like that, and you're going to put one on each end like that, and one on that end, and one on this end, and you just slide them in place like that. All right, and then we're going to set it into the level now. I just took the old vial out, unscrew these two screws, pop it out, and instead of having the this fat thing in there going across, we're going to put our clear one back in, and the only reason we're saving those plastic pieces is the actual seating is on the vial itself, and these just hold the lenses in place. See that? And then I take this, pop this back on here, just like that. A little screwdriver action here. There you go. There's your vial. Now you can see your level and read it. Remember we looked at it against the wall before? Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. Watch this. Blind as go. I am, I can see that. And then you come over here on a light colored wall. Oh yeah. Just as clear as can be. Just like a brand new level. And it didn't cost a thing. Use your screwdriver, take it apart, slide those sleeves off, slice them up, and put them back on. And it doesn't matter if the sleeves are a little bit wider on one than the other. If you want to be real careful and make them real small, like this one here, you can see I got it pretty close to the edge, so you wouldn't hardly even notice it. But it doesn't matter. You're looking at the middle. That's what counts. So, there we go. Another Shade Tree Fix-It Man Fix-It project, and uh, this one is a freebie. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, this is George saying so long. Oh, one more thing. My wife reminded me to tell you that the reason it only matters that you can see the bubble in the middle is because if the bubble is in the middle, you're on the level. The bubble is in the middle. Love.